I decided it was time again to subscribe to Art Snacks. We have two new boxes and I'm super excited to open them. And the reason why we have two is because they are currently running a sale. I think they're letting it run until the end of July. So if you use the code, I believe it's free 20, you get 20% off a three month subscription as well as you get a free box. So I don't know which box is the January box and which is the free one, but they came on the same day. So I don't know which is which. But yeah, I completely forgot to do the intro, so hi, we're doing another art snacks unboxing. So yeah, I'll leave their website down in the description in case you want to check them out. They're just basically a monthly subscription box. I don't know how else to explain it, but I will leave their website in case you want to check them out. I absolutely love them. And yeah, I guess we'll get to opening. Um, I got these last night and it's been killing me, so <laughs> we will get to opening the art snacks boxes. I don't know which is the June box, so I'm just committing to one. And we'll see what it is oh okay i think i know which this is and i think it's a box i've gotten before yeah so we have the december art snacks box which is one i got before because i was dis subscribed in december i really like this tiny sketchbook i haven't used my other one but it's so cool let me open it yeah this zigzag sketchbook i have one and i've had one before and they're really fun i haven't done the other one yet but it would be totally cool just to make like a really long piece in there i don't know i haven't used my other one but i this is a really fun box we got another art snack sticker so this is the one that was for november or no this is the december box and i absolutely love the sticker i think it's one of the cutest ones and then we got this giant acrylic marker so i haven't used the other one yet but this is kind of fun it is basically literally a giant just acrylic marker <laughs> and it's in a really pretty green color so that's fun so the next thing we got was two Tombow markers and we got a brown one and a purpley one I'm not sure exactly what it is but I'm pretty sure it's just a black pen with two different size nibs so yeah that was everything that's in this box like I said I already got this one because I did have the December box but it's still fun and exciting which must mean also, the candy from the um, December box is a Swedish fish. Cool. Okay. Okay, so I hope that is fixed. I've been messing with the brightness a lot. I'm sorry. But if that was the December box, that must mean this is the June box. So I am excited to open it. I saw that the sneak peek was Copic Markers, and I have never owned a Copic Marker. So that gets kind of also convinced me to get this box because I have always wanted one. But they're just so expensive. Ooh, Okay. So we have, of course, everything that is wrapped in this green thing. We'll get to that next because I see this giant, I want to say it's a sharpener. I'm guessing it's a sharpener. Ooh, okay, so that's cool. I think it has specific, um, let me have it focus, specific things for different, so like it says colored pencil and then it says like jumbo graphite and then I think guess it's just regular pencil. So this is like a really fancy sharpener, I'm guessing, which is cool because I don't have any fancy sharpeners and then I'll read this menu afterwards we toss it to the side for now and then the snack for this month is some smarties okay so we are going to open this which I don't think there's gonna be too much in this box just because um, Copic markers tend to be expensive Ooh, okay oh my god the sticker for this month okay so we do have two Copic markers and I got really fun colors. I got a purple and then an orange, so let me show you. So I got two, and one is this orangey color, and one is purple. And I've never tried Copic markers, so I'm super excited. I have no idea how to use these, though. Ooh, it looks so fun. Oh my god. Some ink. Oh my god. <laughs> it's already getting everywhere. I have some on my finger, and then there's already some. Okay, it's fine. Okay, and then the next thing we got is a... We have this General's, I, can't, I don't know what it says, pencil, and it looks really fancy. But yeah, I have no idea what this is. And then it looks like we have an eraser of some sort. Yeah, we have this eraser. And then the very last thing was the Art Snack sticker, which I think is adorable for this month. Ooh, there we go. Look at the sticker. <laughs> so that was everything to come in this box. We got two Copic markers, a sharpener of some sort, an eraser, and then this pencil, and I have no idea what half of these things are, so we are going to check the menu. 
Hmm, I thought this one was like a colored pencil, but it just says it's a drafting pencil. But it's spelled drafting like fancy. Why? I'm not sure, but they did. Um, I was just guessing because the pencil was brown. It was a colored pencil, but I guess it's a graphite pencil. Um, overall, first impressions of this box without testing anything, I think it was worth it. I like this month's box. I mean, Copic markers I know are expensive. And I kind of really like the sharpener. I just always need more sharpeners. I don't have that many, so helpful. But yeah. So I guess I will start testing these out and then we will make an art piece with them and it's gonna be fun. <laughs> okay, so thank you for bearing with me through the camera issues if you made it this far. I know it was really bad and shaky, but I'm still getting used to my new camera. So here I'm just giving you a close up of everything that came in the December art snacks box that I got as a bonus and as well as the June box. So here I'm just setting everything out. So I actually looked through my Tombow markers after I filmed this and I have three of the purple ones somehow. Apparently I got the exact same colors as I did when I got the December box the first time. Here I'm just giving you a close up of the menu so you can pause and read if you'd like or if you just want to see the prices of everything. I always find it interesting to see how much everything costed. I never really calculate it like for the worth because I just I enjoy opening our snacks boxes. So now we are at the June box. Also I'm sorry in the clips if I said January or July. My brain is just like they all have J's. It is not the same month, but I mix them up, so yeah, this is a June box for 2022, as you can see it says it on the menu here. And I actually realized after filming this, or when I was looking back at the footage, I forgot to stick the pencil in this clip, but yeah, we also have the drafting pencil, I just forgot to put it in the clip. So, now we are going to get started on the art piece, and originally the plan was to do two separate pieces of the stuff from the boxes, but while I was testing everything out, I actually really liked how all the colors looked together, and I did test everything out just because I wanted to see how the colors looked in like real life. I also was so impressed by this paint marker because sometimes whenever I start pa paint markers, you always end up with like a giant puddle, but this one didn't give me a giant puddle and I was like, wow, that's really nice. Also, it is just such a pretty color. I really just like scribbling with all my new art supplies. So that's kind of just what I'm doing here. I test everything out. Um, I didn't really, the Tombow markers were what I expected. I use Tombow markers a lot, so. I already kind of knew what they look like. Also, I did already have these colors. Um, I did try to blend with the Copics though, because I always hear people saying Copic markers are so good for blending. I could not do it. I don't know if I'm doing it right. I saw people say blend in circles. It just wasn't happening for me. So I ended up deciding for the piece I'm going to do that it was going to be not very blended, very much just like line, I guess. I always end up using line a lot in my pieces and this is another one of those so here are just the thumbnails i did i did, had a lot of different ideas but i ended up deciding i wanted to do something with an orange in it because of the sticker for the june box it was just so cute and i had an orange marker and it just felt like i need to draw an orange so i did end up doing an orange and i'm kind of doing like a big orange that has like birds on it and um i put flowers in the idea was that the oranges were going to be orange, so I would use the orange marker for that, and then the flowers were going to be the pink marker, and other than that, I had no plan. I was just kind of going for it and praying it turned out well. These birds, um, not that bird I was drawing, these birds, I had so many problems drawing them. I even looked up bird references and I could not get them right. So this is the first time I'm drawing them, and I swear I redrew them over 10 times. Um, that being said, let's all appreciate how much better I've gotten from the first Art Snacks video I did because my lines are lighter, I'm drawing birds pretty well, I've come a long way, okay? Just in the time I've been doing these Art Snacks videos, it is kind of cool to look back and see my progress already. But anyways, back to this piece. So all I'm doing now is I am lightening my lines more. While I have gotten better at drawing lighter, I'm still not the best. So I do like to go in with a kneadable eraser and just lighten things up. I also did go in with just a regular white eraser because some of them were not coming off. No one's surprised. <laughs> but um, yeah. So now is going to be time for me to go in with the markers. I literally, when I tell you I had no plan for where I was putting which art supply, I had no plan. All I knew is that the oranges were we're gonna be orange. I said this earlier. So here I'm just starting to put it in with the Copic markers. I was also really surprised by the Copic like brush side nib. It was really nice. I am used to Tombows and theirs are a little flimsy. I don't know how to explain it but they got really nice marker nibs on the Copic markers. 
So all I'm basically doing is I'm just filling in the orange at first with the Copic marker and I don't have footage of it but I did after I did the base layer in Copic end up going in with the pink Tombow marker or the purple one and it worked really well to just darken some spots. Here I'm trying to darken it with the Copic marker and that didn't work very well. I don't know if Copics are good for layering. I mean it worked a bit but it didn't work super super well and didn't give me the result I wanted so what I ended up doing was going in with the Tombow pink marker and just going over things and here basically all the darker spots were done with the Tombow marker. I was surprised how well the Tombow marker and the um, Copic marker actually mixed when you put the Tombow over it. Also I'm just showing you here um, the big giant paint marker which was by far the most surprising thing in this box. I, I really love this marker actually. And I thought it wouldn't work good for filling in tiny areas, but I did all the leaves with it. I did like um, the little spaces between the orange. It just worked so well and I was just so shocked because it is such a big chunky marker. I thought I was going to have problems with it, but I actually, that was probably my favorite supply from the box. Um, but all I'm doing is I just continue to fill everything in for a while. I did kind of run into the issue that the orange was next to oranges and I had to figure out a way to darken it. And then I was like, I can just use a Tombow marker. So here I believe I do have some footage of me darkening with a Tombow marker and I was really shocked by how well this worked because I I don't know you don't see many people mixing like water soluble markers with alcohol markers but you should try the mixture it actually does work pretty well so here I'm finally committing to the birds I cannot tell you how much I was avoiding doing the birds because they're still struggling here they were, they had some problems but I just decided I had to commit to it if they look bad they look bad but they do end up turning out pretty cute and I I hadn't used all the markers yet at this point and I did want to use everything in this piece so I ended up deciding that this piece was going to be very line heavy. I like doing line work, it's fun, I like how it looks. So here I'm adding lines to the leaves and this kind of was a mistake because I'm putting the Tombow marker over acrylic paint and it went over it so I thought oh it'll be fine. It kind of was fine but it wasn't because it was just smudging absolutely everywhere but I liked how it looked so I just kept using the marker and I didn't want to cheat and use something that wasn't from the box so I just used it and I had to do most of it off camera but here it is finished and because the marker was smudging everywhere I wasn't able to film much because then my hand was just hitting everything and just smudging it so here I'm just showing you how bad the smudging was and I could have tried to fix the smudging and kept the white of the page but then I thought why not just cut it out? Like, I don't have to have a background for this, so that is exactly what I did. I just cut it out and it worked perfectly. I actually love how it looks without the white. Um, I actually was kind of worried about the white. It was kind of clashing with the blue because the blue was supposed to be like my brightest thing. And I think without the white, the blue really does look like it's the brightest thing and it looks like highlights and I really like it. So let me know what you think of this piece. I think it turned out surprisingly well. There was a midpoint in the middle and when everything started smudging, I was like, this, this might end badly, but I'm really proud of it. I think this is one of my better art snacks pieces. I also was so nervous mixing both the boxes because I had so many supplies and I didn't know how this was going to go and it went really well. I do have to say my favorite thing from both these boxes has to be the giant marker. It just, I was shocked, but it worked so well and it was surprisingly so, it was just such a good paint marker, okay? I think my favorite thing from the June box though, um, it probably was the Copic markers. They were so vibrant. The camera does not do them justice, but yeah, let me know what your favorite supply is. Give me your feedback on this piece, but I think that is it, so we will flip back to past me to wrap up the video. So I hope you enjoyed watching me make art with the June Art Snacks box, as well as the November one if I decided to do that, I'm not sure. I always film the intro and the intro in the same day, and I usually haven't made the art at that point, so it's always like, I hope everything came out well, but I honestly don't know. I think I've said this before, but I feel like Art Snacks is a great box if you're just trying to find new different art supplies, which is why sometimes I'm unsubscribe and then I resubscribe is just because I feel like it helps you try out a lot of different things because I've never had Copics and I I mean like you obviously don't get a full set of markers but you do get two so you can try it out to see how you like it. Subscribe if you want to see more videos from me there actually will be more art snacks videos on this channel because because of the sale you had to subscribe for at least three months so I for sure have two more art snacks boxes coming and then I will be unsubscribing because I should be heading to school in the fall so I'll be unsubscribing after those two boxes unless I forget. I do have more art snacks videos on this channel. I in like September I subscribed because it was my birthday time. So if you want to see those videos, I have a playlist now of art snacks videos as well as I will just 
link the playlist so that way you could see them if you want to see more art snacks videos personally i love art snack also if you want to see this piece i made in this video or you just want to see it for longer i post it on my instagram so if you want to see it you can check out my instagram i think that is it i will see you in the next one bye <laughs>